Well, there are serious accusations coming from both sides in The Hague this week. Um, first, yesterday, uh, South Africa accused Israel of committing a genocide in the Gaza Strip. And now today, Israel is accusing South Africa of acting as a mouthpiece for Hamas, who attacked Israel on October 7, and according to Israel, provoked this current ongoing war in Gaza. Now, Israel furthermore said today that um, there is no genocide because Israel is only targeting Hamas and not Palestinian people, according to Israel's officials. But let's take a look at what happened today at the International Court of Justice in The Hague. Israel's military operation in Gaza is, according to South Africa, a genocide campaign. Serious allegations, which prompted Israeli officials to speak before the International Court of Justice. What Israel seeks by operating in Gaza is not to destroy a people, but to protect a people, its people, who are under attack on multiple fronts. Thursday, South Africa accused Israel of creating conditions in Gaza which are calculated to destroy the population. Israel says this is unfounded. In order for the court to rule in favor of a provisional ceasefire, South Africa does not need to prove genocide. It just needs to prove that there are acts which are capable of falling within the Genocide Convention, which is a much lower standard. The court could decide on a ceasefire within just weeks. Such rulings, however, are not enforceable and might have little to no effect on the war. Meanwhile, emotions among protesters gathered outside the court ran high. Because Israel has the right to defend itself. What, what has happened was is terrible. The massacre, the, 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 the people who are murdered and the hostages is so terrible. It's kind of weird that one time Palestine fights back, then it creates chaos and Israel's like, oh no, we need to defend ourselves. Meanwhile, Palestine never could defend itself every time Israel bombed every city of Palestine. Food, water and humanitarian assistance remain difficult to access. Palestinian officials say that 1% of the Gaza population has already been killed by Israel's military. So what happens next? Well, the court is expected to decide on a provisional ceasefire within just weeks. But uh, in the past, such rulings had no effect. They're just not enforceable. So this m probably won't change the ongoing war in Gaza. The only thing that might change is Israel's image around the world and also Israel's current allies who are supporting Israel and maybe delivering weapons, they might think twice in the future whether they will continue to support Israel's war in Gaza.